Hey, Bad Friends fans. Hi. This weekend, I'm in Irvine, March 18th and 19th. I'm at the Irvine Improv, and Bob is telling you, if you don't sell it out, he's going to quit this show. So Yeah, so that's that. go get the tickets, or I'm going to quit this show. You're going to quit the show. I told you to say what you're supposed to say, so say that, all right? And then I'm in Vegas at the end of the month. Then I go to Dallas, uh, Vancouver. We're putting up more dates as we go. AndrewSantino.com. AndrewSantino.com. You two are bad friends. Who are these two idiots? Asian dude. You two are disgusting. Well, you two are something. We're bad friends. Two for T and T for two. What are we doing? And me. And me. What song? And you. Together again. Oh, is that it? I don't know what you're doing. I started off with a song. We start off with a song sometimes. Oh, I know. Oh, you're making up one? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Don't correct me if we're making it up. Well, two for T is a Yeah, yeah. The deer line was good. T is for deer. Let's try it again. All right. Two. For T and a teenage T for deer. two. No, a teenage deer. <laughs> oh, 18, 19. It sounds like you're doing do a deer, and I'm just going a teenage deer. Don't you know what? Does everybody know what T for two is? Do you know T for two and two? Type I've that. I've never in. heard of that. No. Well, whites. T for, for two, two and two for T. Is that it? Doris, T for two. Doris Day. Doris Day. Yeah. Bro, this is like white shit, bro. Why I would, said white shit. I, know, I but said. Why would a Korean dude that's like from the streets know white shit? Oh, and I don't know any Korean stuff. I love name, Korean name stuff. Name me a Korean thing. T for, for two. two. <laughs> and two for two. No, you're, you're yeah. doing it too wrong. It's two. two. T, T, a two, T, a teenage T. deer. <laughs> so what did I do? So what did I do last night, by the way? Or what? Last night? Two nights ago. I did Scissor Brothers. I'm sorry. Me too. You were great. <laughs> I can't believe I did you that. You were great. I stole Jeremiah's baby. Yeah. They had a, we, we did a little game. Mm -hmm. I actually had a really good time. Filming it in their in their sex dungeon. It's it not even sex dungeon. It's disgusting. It's terrible. It's disgusting. You almost want to go. Am I gonna die? I could hear raccoons. Yeah, clawing at you the fucking side of the ground. In the back, teenage deer is just <laughs> with their hooves, just you know I mean? just eating, going yeah. to for G. Can I ask you G. something? Are there deers that are teenagers? Think that's all I need to know. What's the lifespan of a deer? Yeah, yeah. The average lifespan of a deer is two to three years, so no, they never make it to teenager. No, but that that would mean that deer a, te a teenage deer would be like nine months old or whatever. Well, no, what's deer years to human years? That's what I'm saying. Like dog years. They have teenage years. It's probably a month though. Yeah, like a, uh, yeah, yeah. They well, have a month to smoke pot. You know what I mean? So Just when they're one month old, have a job. You know what I mean? Only a few, uh, only a few male deer live in captivity. Have been reported to live more than fifteen deer. years. Human age and deer years. Conversion. <laughs> yeah, human to deer. Oh, it's every for every one year is yeah. two and two, two and a quarter years of a deer. And we can do any animal here too. This is great. Well, that's yeah. any animal. That's we, fucking bullshit. We, no, no way. we can compute any animal. He's saying. Oh, I see. I thought that was just a thing for every animal. Okay, so what so, about the turtle so, that so lives wait, for three hundred right, years? Time turtle. out. A sixteen-year-old deer. Oh my god, no, we have to do math. This is terrible. Yeah, this is a lot harder than I thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's two point two nine of one human, right? Mm-hmm. So, so, why do we need to? So, go to 16. I should have never said teenage deer. <laughs> type in 16 year. I want to do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Type I, in 16 for a deer. Just type in 16. It's right not there. letting me type on it. Oh, this fucking guy. Did you get the coffee? Do, yeah, no, he definitely didn't. <laughs> oh. Did we get the premium package for this website? We. How come we're not subscribed to this human <laughs> conversion? Yeah. yeah. Easy calculation. Can we just get a boost? Let's just. <laughs> anyway, who gives a shit? Yeah. Uh, you saw Batman for the second time. Yeah. Did you like it the second time around? You know what lives longer than, less than a uh, teenage deer or a deer in general? That I just fucked the joke up. <laughs> 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 let me, give, me, give me another call. Go ahead. All right. Do you want to, uh, you know what dies? <laughs> let me just see. What, I just need the wording. Do you want, you know what dies earlier Quick. than a deer? W what? Carlos's hairline. Oh, it's not good. See, it's just bit bad. Yeah, Batman. Um, <laughs> let's cut, cut all that out and call. Let's talk to Bat, no. uh, about Bat, the Batman. Leave that in. Yeah, yeah. The Batman. Did you see it? Did not. Refused to. I'm gonna see it. I'm just. I'm not in the mood for. I, I. I've been fighting. All the trolls on the internet are mad about me saying Robert Pattinson. I don't like as a Batman. People, you're wrong. You don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. I don't I, look. I don't want the kid from Twilight to be Batman. Uh yeah. He's absolutely amazing. <laughs> Sue me. He's amazing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't like his look. I didn't like Steve Martin in Cheaper by the Dozen. 
Sure you did. That movie was amazing. Yeah, but I just thought it could have gone to March Short. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I mean, that's how silly that sounds, though. No, it doesn't. Yeah. Like, I don't want... I want like, Batman to be a tough guy. A guy's guy. This guy isn't a guy's guy. I don't want uh, Kate Blanchett to play Queen Elizabeth. I want Idris Elba. No, that one's not close. <laughs> okay, I'm just saying. Queen Elizabeth's not a <laughs> black guy. <laughs> I know, but in that now I want always Batman to be a guy's guy, a tough guy. He's a tough guy in this, dude. No, he's, but he's not. He's a little emo. Emo Why, is. Why? Because he listens to a little dashboard confessional? Because that's not Batman. He, bat, this Batman listens to dashboard confessional. He cuts himself, Boo. right? Boo. He's a. <laughs> Batman's supposed to be a vapid, rich asshole who's like a tough uh, piece, this like tough roughneck who's trying to avenge his parents' death. But can I just say he's more violent than all the other Batman? The film is more violent. He is. I just the character. Don't, I don't believe him. Watch the fucking movie, man. It's so good. Let me say something right now. I don't okay? believe him. Let I'm allowed see. to feel this way. All right. But you know Poison Ivy's in it? And it's, what's her name? It's Lenny Kravitz's kid, right? No, that's Catwoman. Oh, she's Catwoman. Yeah. Who's Poison Ivy? That girl that's in Queen's Gambit. Oh, I love her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's her name? Anya Taylor-Joy. Anya Taylor-Joy. Anya Taylor-Joy. Yeah, she's in it. She's and- got those big shark eyes. Right, and she like plants trees. Dun, 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 yeah, dun, it's dun, great. Dun. So she's poison ivy. Yeah, <laughs> I still, don't, I just don't, I just don't get it. Yeah. I just want a man's man. And Harry Styles is like, I think that he's Harry Styles is like being uplifted to be Robin because he's in it. I think because his name is Robin, and I just assume he's Robin. I went to the Grove to see it, and I fell asleep, and I just, I had <laughs> to fucking leave. love you, Carlos. Yeah, yeah, because it's, it's great. Because bu- it's bullshit, isn't yeah. it? No, it was honestly too late, and I took anxiety oh. medication. I just passed out. He was high. He was high. <laughs> and this is such fucking bullshit what addicts do. They go, well, I was on anxiety med. No, you yeah. were fucking you were blizzed high. out of your mind and probably a little drinky drink, huh? I, no, I didn't. A little drink. drinky drink, huh? No, this is all projecting. Yeah, Bobby's is out. that pro- oh, really? <laughs> Ten days you out of acid re- head. <laughs> you fucking. Where's my coffee, man? <laughs> I. You have two Red Bulls. Oh, that's true. Man, thank you for and this. An thank you for this. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But can I talk about what I just went through with my parent, mom? Please. So I realized that I was born to be fucked. I mean, I I had no chance with my parents raising me and stuff. You mean you were bo- you were? It's you just were... there's no there's no like I'll just give you an example. You were of, dealt a bad hand. Yeah. So you know I went through all the things that I went through, and you know, and I what I discovered in the place that I went to was that my mom had a tough life, and she you know I wouldn't want to be sympathetic toward her. Right. And have empathy toward her. And I've never done this before. We are at a Starbucks in Phoenix. And I just took both her hands and I go, Mom, I am so sorry the way you were raised. You know, the way you discovered your sister dead that one time. And then you you came to America and then you you were born into an abusive home. And it was just chaos in your life. And I'm so sorry. I'm literally crying. And she goes, Buka. And I go, what? Was that a new drink at Starbucks? Uh, no, I thought it was a <laughs> Korean word. I go, Bu- what's a buka? She goes, buka the pepper. I'm hungry. Oh, she wanted to eat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and and I, I go, oh, okay, this is, this kind of talk. I got to tell you, though, once you got buka on the mind, it's hard to get it off. <laughs> <laughs> once I mean, once buka's on the brain. I know. It's like, when you think about like the size of 19 those pasta pounds bowls. of lasagna. Yeah, come on. Right. And all that chopped salad. Buka de Beppo. Yeah, Buka de Beppo. No, but um, that's I used what to that... valet at Buka de Beppo in Phoenix. Really? Yeah, I did. That what? was my job. When I was in college, I used to valet. And you know what I'd do? Because it was family style. What? Three cars would pull up and I would rip one valet ticket. So I'd take the other cash for the other two cars. Yeah. I was a thief. I used to steal from American valet. <laughs> Fuck you guys. Yeah. I probably stole legitimately like four or five grand. And then my brother and I. Come get me. <laughs> come get me American Valley but, your brother and I said that you talked about you the car ride you yelled at him for a good two and a half hours he said of I, the four and a half hour car ride can I tell you why huh so all weekend I, you know what I do is like I'll go hey do you know you want some Nathan Chen and what's like, Nathan Chen he's like, he's like what is that I go that figure skater he, he won the gold and this and that he'd be oh. like nah so I'll go hey do you want to watch something like if I recommend something, he doesn't want to watch it. Why? He just doesn't. So um, when on the car ride home, I, I go, "Hey, you want to?" Wa-? He goes, "I'm not watching anything because you don't watch my shit." Oh, that's what that's this what it from. is. You don't watch my shit, so you know what? I, Bobby Lee was like open. I go, you know what? I'll watch your shit. Right. Right. So he goes, "All right, fine." So he goes, "Every Wednesday, I see this lady on YouTube." 
And I go, uh huh. You know, YouTube's every day he could look at it, not just. <laughs> I know, but, she, <laughs> but this particular lady um, will just post something on Wednesday. That's her drop date. Her drop yeah. date, yeah, yeah, like us. And she's, I guess, used to, she was a journalist and she found years ago cows on a field that were like mutilated. Oh, is this the alien shit? Yeah, but it gets really crazy. Okay, what's her name? Can we look her up? Yeah, yeah. Her, I have Googled because he not Googled, but he sent me all her information. <laughs> to keep talking. So though. her name was Linda Moulton Howe. Linda Moulton Howe. Yeah. H O W E. Yeah. M O U L T O N. Yeah, we got it. Okay, good. We'll look up her Wikipedia. Let's see what the, what's the validity of this woman. She used to be a journalist. She won an Emmy. I've won an Emmy. What does that, that even that's fucking true, mean? That's yeah. true. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone can. But um, I haven't won an Emmy. By but the way. she she's like, but this, she's like. Basically, she's saying there's a there's a war between five different alien races. And look at it. She's look at her profile picture as by what aliens built. Yeah. And then she says, um, "There's an alien race called the Tall Whites." Oh, me. <laughs> I told you I'm, all this time. I'm like, I'm not. I'm different. I'm unique. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Any white over five eleven is a tall white. Yeah. And there's like this lizard race, and there's arachnids. So that a lizard race is Carlos arachnid. <laughs> Pete. Yeah. Who else? Is there another one? Just standard alien me? Yeah, you're regular alien. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. regular you're, standard you're alien. alien. Like, yeah. But telepathic. Oh, oh, a telepathic alien? Well, aliens are telepathic. Like I'm like a little gray. You, the yeah. little grays are telepathic. Yeah, you're more yellow than gray, but still. <laughs> yeah, but when little grays hit the sun, the way I hit the sun, <laughs> they turn yellow. <laughs> you fucking asshole. You got a little yellow, you little gray. Yeah, but anyway, my point is, is that he believes it. I do too. You don't believe in aliens at all? No, but a specific five alien race war between specific aliens <laughs> sure. that live on dwarf fucking moons behind Pluto. Yeah. Come on, man. You believe in that? Why not? What's unbelievable about it? Look up tall whites, aliens. <laughs> I'm being real. <laughs> Look at that. Go to images. Nordic aliens. Yeah, Nordic is the official go to, Yeah, term. go to images. Okay. Yeah, Nordic aliens. Yeah. That looks just like me. <laughs> I'm see-through like that guy. Oh, so so Yeah, so, so Orlando Bloom. Yeah. So Orlando Bloom is a tall white? <laughs> he looks like it to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Walking with tall whites. Look at that guy. A guy did a whole thing about it. Yeah, he started walking around with him. My point is is that <laughs> you don't buy into your brother's bullshit. I don't think I do. I got to tell you, dude, I'm a big alien guy. Like who do you think built the pyramids? You really think slaves built the pyramids? Mathematically, they cannot figure out a way that those stones could be hoisted up on the pyramids without help. Two point okay, three, you can, you can 3 million it. stones. What do you say? Two point three million stones in that in that yeah, but pyramid also, Giza. And you, how heavy are those fucking things? Tons. No matter what hoisting they found out, no matter how what kind of hoisting mechanism, it would be almost impossible for them to hoist these stones. I believe that if I went to Mexico, okay, <laughs> just hear me out. I am ready. Right, and let's say I had like a hundred billion dollars. <laughs> Got it. And I just went to Mexico and I went, all right, we're going to outdo the aliens. In two weeks, we'd have something bigger than that and more precise and more. But this wasn't from Mexicans, bud. I know, but Mexicans do it, can do it. The, so if okay. aliens, if, if, the, if the pyramids <laughs> were in Mexico, yeah. I would believe that story 100%. Yeah. They're not. They're in Egypt. R right. But my point is, is that if if Mexicans can do it, all Egyptians can do it. That is not true. Mexicans are the, are the tip top of knowing how to do work. Nobody beats Mexicans. I know. They're the kings. Yeah, but if you tell I'm giving it, a compliment. They are the most apt, hardest working people I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, yeah. But the, but the Egyptians, they're lazy, dude. They're that, dancing oh, a lot. Oh, yeah, they are doing that. They're dancing all That's day. Too much, and they're also like doing pottery. Yeah, a lot of pots. Too much pottery, dude. Yeah, they had no time to You're do right. the pyramids. You're right, because there's no way they could do it. Also, they have the whole thing of like, you know, we're not going to bury them. We're going to mummify. Mum mummify. Just imagine. wrap it in saran wrap or whatever they use. <laughs> they have saran wrap? Wrap it. Can you imagine how long it would take to... Like, I, I, exhausting. They're wrapping a guy's leg and at some point they're like, oh God, just no one's going to see. Fuck this. Yeah, guy. yeah, this, yeah. At some point... You, you know what I would long? do? I'd have pre-cut things and just lay over the head. <laughs> like it's I, a so, pie crust? So if they pull, turn it over, it's just all decayed. There's no, there's no fucking wrapping. <laughs> I would just do it really quickly. Uh, oh, yeah, that, dude, what? I watched last night, I watched a fucking thing called like Roommates from Hell or something on Netflix. I tried to watch that. That This woman, spoiler alert, mm. don't care. This woman, this old sweet woman, mm. look at that bitch. That, yeah, that bitch. Yeah, yeah I saw she was she the buried, thumbnail. She buried all of her 
all of her like uh, live in roommates because there were people that came. She was like a uh, a rehabilitation center for the mentally ill and the sick and all this stuff. And she, and and they started digging her backyard and they found so many fucking bodies. This one woman. Listen, I I, I don't need to see it because I know why she did it just by the space on the phone. Give me a guess. Because she's so hot. Yeah, she's a babe. Right. So they were. Everybody probably, they, wanted a boner. Yeah, and when you're an old lady and you're hot and you have and she happens to look look at her lips. You know they say that they say this is, those are say, those are DSLs say, uh, if I've ever seen them. Yeah, <laughs> those are DSLs, I know, baby. But listen, they say the size and the shape of a woman's mouth is directly proportioned to their size and the shape of their vagina. Look at that mouth, are tight. You, <laughs> do they say that? Is that a common phrase? <laughs> Yeah, that's what I've said. You know what I do? What do they do about men's penises? What, what, what is the direct what you correlation? Do is when you're on a first date with somebody, you say that up front to mm-hmm. the girl, and they do stuff to their lips. They go, mm. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I'll, just, <laughs> I'll just have the soup. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the man's correlation? Feet. The, the size of your feet is correlated. Yeah. Uh, what size are your feet? Nine, for, and that's pretty big for for a my Korean size. guy. Yeah, not for a Korean, just my size. No, for a Korean guy, that's pretty big for a Korean. average shoe size of a Korean guy. We can look that up. What's that, <laughs> George? What are you? What is George? How big is your foot, George? I'm an eleven. Eleven. Average size of a Korean guy. Twelve. <laughs> Ten. Wow, bigger than all you guys. <laughs> what is? I'm bigger than all these. No, guys. But is there a Korean one? Yeah, Korean average shoe. Generally, most common shoe sizes in Korea are interval of so that's uh, seven and a half to twelve. So you're right in the middle, bud. You're right down the gut. So it's not big at all, actually. <laughs> You're actually medium for a Korean guy, which is a little bit of a letdown, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I understand. I'm a 12 and a half. I beat yeah. the whole room. George, you're what? An inch taller than me? 6'2"? Uh, yeah. Yeah? But are you saying that you think that Doc, our Doc, has a bigger penis than I do? I'm willing to guess, yeah. That's very upsetting. Just because of the melatonin. That's very upsetting. Melatonin? Melanin. He does take melatonin often. Does, no, 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 no. Do you miss him a little bit? Me? Yeah. I just, do miss him when he's not here. Also, Jules is at school. She she can't. Well, it, you know, it happens. The kid's got to learn. Is she get, She's getting anything out of education or no? Because didn't we... We helped fund some of this. Yeah, she's getting good grades. Yeah, but the, yeah, but you know, I got good grades, but it, I school was pretty worthless to me, I'm being honest. Yeah, but she does like three in the morning. I can hear her like just... In like doing her exams like the night before. I mean, like, I don't know what they do in college. I don't know what they do. Essays. I honestly have Essay? no idea. Do they do essays? Like uh, Mexican guys? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She like, does she repeat essay all over on a recorder and go, essay, essay? Listen, Pythagorean theorem, dog. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, yeah. I want to bring something up that's controversial. Hmm. Florida just passed the don't say gay bill. Do you know what this is? It's been touted as the don't say gay bill. That's actually not obvious. It already it actually passed. It sure did, right? Uh, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's been called the "Don't Say Gay" bill by the LGBTQIA plus community, but uh, that's been nicknamed. What it really is is they're removing conversations of. Let me read it directly from. <laughs> What's up, Doc? Yo. <laughs> What up? What's up, man? What up? No, What's sorry. happening? You, you're not gonna get here on time, or? Yeah, I was running around. I didn't know if you could park back here or not, so I was trying to find a place to run around. Dude, take off your fucking mask, mask, man. Yeah, let's <laughs> in the microphone too. Yeah, and you know how the microphone is the thing that we hear, are able to hear you yeah, through? Yeah. yeah. No, I'm fucking trying to find a place to park. I was driving around and shit. Okay. I didn't know if you could park back here. Dude, this guy shows up with another NASA piece of clothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. For the crazy. fourth time in a row. <laughs> yeah. We get it. Uh, Where's your drinky? I saw you're drinking it. Yeah. Take that away from him. No, let what? him ha- let it sip it slow. That's not a this ain't a I'm not drunk or not. Fucking Bobby, something else. <laughs> He's drunk. <laughs> no see how they are. Can I Bro. give you a water instead? Do you want to just hydrate? No, I'm not even I did, I just poured this the first one for the day. I know, but okay. can I just say this? You know, be somebody that doesn't have a problem would just be like, okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But so now I feel like it's a problem. Oh, I can get water if you if you want to get water, bring water. Time out. Make it yeah, yeah. Let's establish some rules today. Okay. <laughs> no getting annihilated. No getting into a fight. I'm not getting a fight. And we're not going to step on each other. Okay. We're okay. going to talk. We're going to talk smoothly. Smoothly. Through this through this will be back. one of the first podcasts we do where we don't overlap each other. Mm. Thank you, yeah. Carlos. You're a good guy. Take, Okay. I will save this for later. <laughs> Dude. Okay. Let's get
get back to the let's don't say gay bill because <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I want actually would love to hear Doc's interpretation of this. Yeah, Doc, there's a bill in Florida that passed called the don't say gay bill, and it's not the bill. It's that's what it's been named, but it's basically removing. Uh, here, I want to read it off this, Carlos, because I have okay. it pretty it, etched out. Here you go. So don't say gay bill. It, it's it's making it so discussions about sexual orientation in schools um, uh, is eliminated and encouraging parents to school school districts that that openly speak about these topics. So it's removing discussions about sexual orientation in schools, meaning, you know, about uh, gay, transgender, blah, 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 blah. So blah. what they're trying to do with uh, critical race theory. Trying to remove it. To remove it, yeah. What do you think, Doc? I mean, they, is it all sexual or is it just gay? S I think what they're specifically going for is alternative sexual lifestyle. Heterosexual, you can say whatever you want. I yeah, am mad. Turn the ass. You know what I mean? Something well, like that, I don't but. think that's in the book. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Was that in some of your books? <laughs> Welcome to Spanish 101. Uh, yeah, yeah. First, first phrase is yeah. we're going to learn is fucker in the ass. <laughs> How do you say that in, in Spanish, Carlos? Uh, I don't know. What he, a fake he's, Mexican. He's the worst Mexican. You're the <laughs> fakest Mexican we have. Yeah. By the way, if we ever get in trouble yeah. for like being racist towards Mexicans yeah. and, and we think, oh, well, we've got one. We should be good. You'll, you'll fail us publicly. But my dad came here from Mexico and he didn't want me to learn Spanish. He wanted me to be super American. Why? Because he's racist towards his own race. Yeah, kind of. He didn't like Mexico when he first got here. He was like, I never want to go back. Wow. Yeah. Well, if you want to know, it's Cohela in Las Nalgas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> in Las Nalgas. <laughs> That's what I'm telling Talk, Co I thought Co we were drinking the in water. Las Nalgas? Co Cohela. 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 In Las Nalgas. In Las Nalgas. Yeah. <laughs> si. Cohela. I, there's no way that's right. Out. Yeah. Just Google fuck me in the ass in Spanish. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, fuck me. Why do we that. even need to do that? Can we just move on from it? Or? <laughs> I do want to see if he was right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Uh, what? Fuck me in the ass. A a Google Translate just never does it right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because that I says fluk me and culo. Culo is ass. I know that. Okay, say to fuck is coher. C-O-G-E-R. In Korean, it's, uh, I would have to say, chuk chuk kondengi. Chuk chuk kondengi. Yeah. <laughs> I just, that's the that word. sounds awesome. Chuk chuk kondengi. Chuk chuk. Oh, chuk chuk kondengi. Chuk chuk kondengi. And then my mo and my mo or my mother would have been like, no, buka. <laughs> buka, <laughs> don't you want to go back? <laughs> yeah. DoorDash. Man, Bob. Man, what? When I forget stuff at the store, mm. and I need snacks or drinks or household essentials in thirty minutes or less, you know where I turn to? DoorDash. DoorDash, my friend. Do you know how I know DoorDash? Huh? Because it's the only app I have when it has some, anything to do with that. Because when you I, need food, that's what you use. There's other companies that do the same thing, but I only have DoorDash because they're more um, precise. Yep. Because, you know, I'm Asian. I love precise precision. You like precision. Yeah, I like it in 30 minutes. I like you know it fresh. Fresh. I like, I like when the and the delivery people are nice. And they drop it off at your door. I like more options. Yep. Yeah, they're the best. They connect you with the restaurants you love right now, right to your door. Ordering is easy. Open the DoorDash app and choose what you want from where you want. Your items are going to be left safely outside your door with a contactless de delivery drop-off setting. You want Chinese, bro? Yeah. They want pizza? Yeah. Someone is craving you froyo. There's something for everyone on DoorDash. For a limited time, our listeners can get 20 25% off and zero delivery fees on their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter the code BADFRIENDS2022. We both use DoorDash. I love it. They got over 300,000 partners in the U.S., Puerto Rico, Canada, and Australia. You can support your neighborhood go-tos. Choose from your favorite locals like Popeye's, Chipotle, Cheesecake Factory. That's 25% off up to a $10 value and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter code BADFRIENDS2022. Don't forget that's code BADFRIENDS2022 for 25% off your first order with DoorDash. Subject to change terms apply. Liquid, Liquid IV. IV. Liquid, you know what they say? Liquid ID, IV for life. For life. Because I love this stuff, man. It is delicious. Water is boring Yeah, sometimes. water is so stupid. Yeah. One stick with Liquid IV in 16 ounces of water hydrates faster and more efficiently than water alone. And they yep. got incredible hydration flavors like water watermelon, lemon lime, strawberry, pilla colada, and many, many more. You know what I love about, li about Liquid IV is it contains five essential vitamins, mm. B3, mm. B5, I my favorite is B6, B6, B12, Doc loves that, and vitamin C. Oh, and I need enough vitamin, I need as much vitamin C as I can you do. get. With three times the electrolytes of traditional sports drinks made with premium ingredients, no GMO, gluten-free, dairy, and soy, it's super effective. It's got this cellular transport technology, CTT. But I got to tell you something. Try it out because it's very, very good. It's just simple. It's a stick. It's a I, stick. Just want people, I just want people to know. It's a stick. You take, put, put some water. Put in your dump water. Dump it in. That's it. Easy, easy. 
Grab Liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use the code BADFRIENDS at checkout. That's 25% off anything you order when you use promo code BADFRIENDS at liquidiv.com. Experience better hydration today at liquidiv.com. Promo code BADFRIENDS. Can I tell you something about your wardrobe today? We'll Beyond see. the NASA stuff and the obvious repping once again Detroit, which respect. Yeah. Those front zipper pockets are fire. Thank Nothing's you, ever fallen out of those fucking Hell things. No. Can I also say something too? Is for the first time from your waist down, I would probably wear that. Okay. I've never seen anything that you've ever worn and said, I want to get that. Well, where'd you get that, Doc? And I'd be like, I don't ever want to go there. But my point is, is that from your waist down, what kind of jeans are those? Pants are those? What? Guess. Guess. Ooh la la. Fancy. And the shoes are what? Nike. Come on. Ooh la la. Yeah, Brand new too, huh? Hey, where's, what's the symbol on the front of them? I can't even. It says, I think it says New York. Are those there Knicks, it is. Are those Knicks shoes? Yeah, oh yeah. No, not Knicks shoes. They're New York City. Uh, mm -hmm. Nikes. No, they're Knicks shoes. They're Knicks Representing colors, right? Representing the Bronx. Hell yeah. Puerto Rico. Dominican. Hey, Ben Paca. Listen to Wait, the Wait, Doc. The water. The water. A little bit the water, more, man. Little bit of water. A little bit more water. Every time you go on one of those things, we're going to make you yeah, have a yeah. sip of water. Drink a little water and a little wine. He doesn't want to be restricted. I understand. Yeah. I'm not even fucking drunk, though. <laughs> this that's, for that's Our problem say. is in 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> We're foreseeing into the future. What do you think of Robert Pattinson as um, Batman? Who is Robert Pattinson, first of all? Okay, let's that's move on. Perfect. <laughs> let's just move on. <laughs> he was the guy from Twilight. Yeah, we need to move on. I watched Inventing Anna. I'll tell you that. What's that? It's on Netflix about that Russian girl who like, fucking scammed all these people out of all this money. Uh, and it's the girl from Ozark. And she talks like that. She's like, you don't have my money. Oh, yeah, yeah. She, uh, Kalada tried to get me to watch it. No. Nah. I didn't want to watch Big it. Big pass. It's really tough. Her voice is the hardest thing because she's doing an accurate impression of this girl. Mm. But it's really tough to get through. Yeah? Yeah. It's tough. You I guys like her in Ozarks. Huh? I like her in Ozarks. She's good in that. She yeah. does like the little southern drawl. But in this, it's just she, she does an accurate, well, I guess as accurate as you could be of this girl and- she was born in Eastern Europe, Russia maybe, and then she moved to Germany. So she's got this weird like half German accent that's Eastern Europe. It's the weirdest try. fucking thing. Go ahead. Say it again. What you wearing? You look poor. You look poor. Do it. What you wearing? You look poor. What you wearing? You look poor. Do it again. Funny. More what vocal? You, this is it. That's what the you're wearing? You look poor. See, there we, that's it. What are you wearing? wearing? You look poor. poor. <laughs> you know how often Bobby can say that to people? What? What are you wearing? What you look you're wearing? Poor. You look poor. <laughs> <laughs> Don't like it. Keep going. Doc. Doc. I have this new tequila. Why don't you try? Now you're slipping away into another Just get, accent. Get, you're Russian too. Go ahead, Doc. I'm Russian too? <laughs> All right. I'm, oh, Let's shoot. do it again. Man, this guy's good at improv. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Never misses a beat. It's amazing. Right? Never misses a beat. Imagine that was a live show. Yeah. <laughs> you know I mean? so, uh, so yeah, we're me, at I, uh, yeah, me uh, now. Improv Olympic. <laughs> yes, I am. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, the, what them rules? Give me the rules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me the rules. Uh, Tino. Doc, what you wearing? You look for. I will like. <laughs> nice French. <laughs> no, he's, or it's not. Well, this. What well, is this? He's doing a. <laughs> I'm trying to fucking. They yeah, don't use the look. It's Doc. Doc, Doc. What you wearing? You look. Paul. You look tall. I look fantastic. Fuck you. <laughs> really good. Yeah. Very good. Thank You're you. hired. I'm I mean, if I'm casting for this show, I'm like, we've got the boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm casting for like an industrial film for Southwest Airlines, <laughs> you fucking got it. Bro, oh, dude, I, I, had, I just had to go do voice. I had to go to ADR because I did a, you know, I did a couple of scenes in that movie House Party. They're bringing back Kid and Plays, which, by the way, 25 years ago, I think today was the or yesterday was the original release of House Party, but they're remaking it and I did it and I had to go to ADR and I was like, the line was really tame and they were like, oh, we want to replace the word vagina with something, you know, a little bit less than. I was like, for the movie? It's like a fucking, it'll be an online film. Yeah. And they were like, no, 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 it's because it's because it's, it's going to be for airplanes and shit too. And I was like, oh, fuck. I don't like when anything, it's going to be on an airplane because then I can, if I see someone watching a thing that I'm on, yeah, it gives me the biggest panic attack. Really? Oh my fucking God. On an airplane, it's happened a few times where I'm like. You know what I did? What? <laughs> I was on one episode of Sean Saves the World. Sean Hayes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they played it in the airplane. 
In on the airplane. Yeah, and I just kind of walked up and down the tower. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Well, not like not like blatantly, but I was just kind of like no, at the it was screen, blatant. Just locking eyes with people and stuff like that was really weird. <laughs> That's why Bobby didn't want to fly and do shows during the pandemic because he, he didn't want, he didn't want to wear a mask. He wanted people to see it was him on the plane. <laughs> That's why you no. like the attention. You're an attention like whore. You're a fucking whore for I know. attention. <laughs> but you know what? I have the advice with my mom though. If I'm with my mom, I want to get recognized because for- I want to. I want to show her that like she was wrong. She she was. What do you mean she was right? I know. No, because when I started comedy, she goes. My mom and dad were like, "Don't call us." Yeah. Again, pretty much, and I would beg for money and this and that was a struggle. And, and they would say, it, you, you, you're not funny. You're never going to work. It's not good. <laughs> you're right? And I just kept going and going. And then it's like now, you know, I just kind of like. She might be right. <laughs> <laughs> the old buka lady might yeah. be right. Yeah. Did you get her some book, by the way? Did you end up booking with her? No. What did you take her to eat? Did you go Morton's. fancy? Morton's. You love Morton's. I went to Morton's. Well, we tried to go to my stores. We tried to go to these other places. But uh, we went to Morton's. It was a fun night. We saw Batman, too. With her, that is cute. Really you did good. all that as a fam. Yeah, I love my mom. You know, and and, and can I say this? Mm. I sleep better. Your brother said this to me last at my nights parents' ago. house. Yeah, my mom's house than anywhere else on planet Earth. He told me you actually got rest, and he was kind of awake, but he was like, "Bob actually slept for like three, four hours." No, I was sleep for like nine hours. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah, like oh. solid sleep. And also, I never I haven't dreamt in a year. You had dreams. I had dreams. What were I they? I could remember. I don't remember, but I just remember waking up. Go, oh, I had a dream, like being aware that I had one. Yeah. So it was. Yeah, I don't know what it is. It's hot. The bed sucks. Oh, it's shitty. And you it's sleep a well. shit environment. Well, you should see, dude. I. This is what's in my room, dude. Do you have dreams, Doc? Do you remember yeah. your dreams? Yeah, I always I had a dream. That's kind of weird. He ain't had a dream for a year straight, almost. A I year? don't really dream that much. Really? Yeah, my brain's occupied. Fuck. Yeah, you get to dream because, so you know. this is in. <laughs> ain't got shit to you do. got shit going The on. room that I li- stay in <laughs> is this. <laughs> this was in it. What is that? A fucking, that's a mannequin? That's the creepiest thing I've yeah. ever seen. Right. Oh, that's fucking weird. Yeah, so that's in the room. So I go, oh, my mom has this in there. So I turned off the lights to go to bed. Mm-hmm. And I went, fuck it. And I, I just fucking th- I threw it. You know what, what I mean? Is, is it a graduation thing? Does it have like a. She never graduated from anywhere. And she's got a cap and gown. Yeah, and then she has fucking mystique hair. I don't know what the fuck that is. I like it. That, that wig. But she has this all over the house. Let me see. That's Mannequins. Like, that's like my school colors, too. It's maroon and yeah, gold. Yeah. Maybe she, did your mom go to ASU and you just don't know it? No, no, no. She wants to go, and that's why I think she has that. There's also like Nefertiti is down there. Is yeah. she a big fan? Of- oh, my God. It's just Egyptian stuff all over the house. Oh, my God. Up there, Statues, too. More Egyptian. Yeah, everywhere. Why do you think your mom's obsessed with that? Did she, she build had... the pyramids? Did the Koreans build the pyramids? That's what I'm saying. Oh my God. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> oh my and God. And I think the Koreans have something to do with aliens. Google that to see if Koreans might be aliens or have anything to do with the pyramids because I got to tell you something. Mm. The more I think about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do y'all even have pyramids in Korea? Of course they have pyramids, they have pyramids in Korea. In Korea. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. Just, they found uh, Cleopatra's cousin, Domino. 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 In... um. Puyong. And Puyong. Yeah. Puyong, Korea. Yeah. yeah. And they have, they're just a gigantic, it's twice the size of the uh, the temple, I mean, the pyramids in Egypt. Yeah. And there's a it's mechanical door. Yeah. Like a futuristic mechanical door that you, you press a button. It's like a little button and th- there's a mechanic that opens it, but they don't, they think it's alien origin. Well, look at this. What's, <laughs> What's so uh, funny? I'm just, <laughs> that's just so magical. They don't need it. The world is magical, but yeah, okay, open whatever. your eyes, dude. Guantetto. You were so buzzed off of the wine. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Guantetto the Great was a monarch, and uh, they believe the aliens like spoke through him. And Guantetto was Korean. Korean. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. Yes, dude. Guantetto was zoom, a Korean. Zoom in. Zoom in on the about, please, on the right hand side. No, go back and just zoom in on the about. Guantetto the Great was the 19th monarch of Goryeo. His full posthumous name means entombed in Guk Sangyang. Broad expander of domain, peacemaker, supreme king. Just, stop, stop, stop. The when aliens you, spoke through when you when you ta- when you say Guantanamo. Korean words and, and cities and stuff. You don't have to do the accent. Yeah, what are you did. talking about? You yeah, should was... Read it again and read it normally, please. Okay. Because this is the way you are. You know, Guantanamo Guan- Guan- is Guan- the great. Was Guan- the nineteenth monarch of. Guan- I'll do it again. All right. Guangedo, the great, was the nineteenth monarch. Of Gugu Ye. <laughs> His full posthumous name means entombed in Gukgang Sang, broad expander of domain, peacemaker, supreme king. 
<laughs> Sometimes abbreviated to Ho Wat Tai Wang. <laughs> His era name is Young Nyak. And he's occasionally recorded as Young Nyak Tai Wang. Yeah. <laughs> so this Got dude. That. So this dude, the alien spoke through. People believe that, yeah. People believe he spoke. No, no, no. We believe it. Mm. We believe it. He spoke. The alien spoke through Guang Guangiero. Mm. Why does that name sound not Korean? Say it and say it with a Korean accent. Guangiero. 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 Do you do one? Guangiero. Spanish. Yeah, yes, it's Spanish. Yeah, yeah. Is that Guangiero right there? Mm-hmm. That's him in a a movie. That's uh, it was a TV series actually in 2011. So that so Alien spoke through this dude and he communicated to the people of the time the future. Yeah, he was some sort of peacemaker. Love that. That's amazing. It's sort of how the Japanese thought that um Emperor Hirohito was a sun god. They thought he was he was a he, literal sun god, god and they're yeah. like we'll die for our god. What's the chances that he wasn't? One in a zillion. What if he was? He could have been. Cuz how do you know? Dude, what you if you're, what if you're a god? What if you're a god? Shit. And you know what I'm reinforcing. <laughs> you know what I'm reinforcing right now. <laughs> what are you reinforcing? Oh, this is God syndrome. I mean, you already have God syndrome anyway. Uh, you have God syndrome. No, 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 I don't. Yeah, you do. Thank I, I don't. Oh, thank you. No, I don't. He doesn't. Bro. You he have a God he, complex. Who? Okay, who yields his power more? You always saying white power. You be throwing that shit. Out. <laughs> right. First and of always, all, oh, and you're always doing this. First hey, Doc, of all, always doing this. <laughs> what what the fuck does this mean? First what of all, it? when I say hello, don't go okie dokie like that. Okay. That's, uh, that is only at the meetings. I've never brought that to this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's for me and my buds. Yeah. Pete, wink, wink. Yeah. And I got to tell you something. Your god complex is way worse than mine. You bullied Carlos into not having coffee the first six seconds you were in this room. Carlos, how long have I known you? Uh, Same amount of time as I've known you. No, who's, how, who's lo- lo- known you longer, me or Andrew? I have known Bobby a little longer because of certain reasons. Doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't matter. So our history is deeper. No, it's not. <laughs> it is years deeper. And we have also other During things- those years that you met him, you didn't do anything for him. You probably bullied him then too. All right. Phew. So can I just say how we know or no? Yeah, you can say it. Okay. So at one point, you know what I mean? Pop, you were pop. Abu- abusing <laughs> substances together. Yeah, at one point, pop, pop here. Um <laughs> Was uh, sober. I know. Pot. And that's how we knew each other. Okay. But that's a deeper connection. If you knew anything it's not. about. Did you ever call him? Check in on him? Mm. No. Huh? Carlos, don't fucking look at his no, face. No, I'm, I'm like really trying you. to remember and I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, you'd know because it would happen more frequently. <laughs> that you'd remember. Hurts. I took the bus to Cedars to meet Bobby, though. Yeah, there we, we go. That's you meetings. doing another thing for him. <laughs> yeah, because my car broke down, right? Yeah, I guess looking back, you were on the way, too. Yeah, yeah, There we go. Together. God complex. That's not God complex. You're a boss. You boss everybody around. God complex is an unshakable belief characterized by consistently inflating feelings of personal ability, privilege, or in- infallibility. That's you. But the, my tone is very peasant-like. I mean, How, that, well, that's the juxtaposition. What do you mean? Because you sucker people. You're a sociopath. You sucker people into <laughs> thinking <laughs> that you're a peasant when really you're, you've got this sh- cape. This All right. Sh- I, have two, uh, I have two things going on. Please. All right. I ride between peasant, like I, I'm nothing. I got nothing. You know what I mean? Right. You know. Also, there's a lot of shame and guilt involved. With That's because you have imposter syndrome. That's why. Right. And then there's the other extreme where I not extreme, but I have this thing like the the rules don't apply to me. Correct. Right. But I don't think the rules you think apply to you as well. That's not true. I I, obey I think all you the can rules. say things like when you get a parking ticket, do you pay it right away? One hundred percent. But oh. I rarely get one because uh, I obey the rules. Uh, When's the last time I had a parking ticket? I can't even tell you. Okay. When you get you've pulled- never fed a meter in LA. Never. Never. This dude. How, do you, well, how the fuck do you know? Because he knows. I have tickets just sitting on your windshield for like three months. That's a See, fucking this guy fact. guy used to park right. in a parking lot. Your your Prius at one point had a ticket that was so old on it, <laughs> it sunburnt it into the glass. That's real talk. That is a real statement. That's there was sunburn, real talk, a sunburnt parking ticket into your glass. I see what this is. All right. No, it's not a yeah, thing. Yeah. This is what it is, you fucking dipshits. All whoa. right. This is what the fuck it is, all right? Whoa. It's coming up. Whoa, what do you mean, whoa? It's coming whoa. up. You're fucking angry at me. Oh, dude. my God. You've got me up against the wall, dude. I'm putting it out. <laughs> oh, whoa. You put me and Putin in a fucking corner. Oh, will you crank? We're going to attack Ukraine, dude. Oh, man. Will you crank now? <laughs> yeah, so check it out, dude. Don't bomb me, dog. <laughs> Here's the real honest truth, right? The reason why I have parking tickets on my fucking windshield, <laughs> it's right? Because you don't fucking. No, I don't know what to do with them. Are you fucking. Take them off and pay them. Yeah, I don't know how to do that. On the internet. Yeah, but I don't know how. There's a website it's at like the bottom. Two weeks ago, I just learned how to tell time on the sticks. You mean the clock? Yeah, the clock. So Mark Maron taught me how to do it on, on 
Tiger Belly. 50 years old. Yeah, because I refuse to learn. Oh, that's Why? what the God is. Because I just, is. out of stubbornness. Like, I've had girlfriends go, it's easy, let me teach you. I don't ever want to know, I'm digital for but, life. Have you paid off parking tickets <laughs> now? Are they all gone? <laughs> well, then what I had to do is get some dude to do it. <laughs> to pay off your parking tickets. Yeah, I don't pay anything. Like, my dude, Clinton, I don't want to say his last name. My dude, Clinton, I've been with him for 15, 20 years. Yeah. And he all checks, right? And everything goes to him. The reason why is if it goes to me, it'd be all gone. Or you wouldn't know what to do with it. Yeah. I know your business manager, Clinton. Yeah, yeah. And let so, me tell you something about this what, guy. What? It might take him two or three full weeks to cash a check. I sent the guy a check. Yeah. He cashed it like a month later. I know because- How old is that dude? <laughs> He's like 90 years old. Yeah. Okay. Because I called one time. I was like, what's your business address? He's like, four. Hold on. <laughs> and he like walked outside yeah. and read it off the wall. Yeah. He's a black guy. I what trust the black. Fuck does that have to do with that? Old black, I like him. <laughs> give him back. Give what? Him back. You give him back. That's what I'm talking about. Right? I like yeah. to give back. Right? Yeah, you know, yeah. we go together, right? He's yeah. your business manager. Blacks and Asians go together. Yeah, that's right? what I'm talking no, about. No, don't riots? do that. <laughs> well, we no. did it together, <laughs> did we not? You I shot at each other. I know, but you know, we were still looting <laughs> each other. You yeah, were each other, dude. Stay away from my store. You drink, you buy. All right, so stop. No, no, no. Let that go. I'm not. That's the kind of stuff I love to hear. Yeah. You drink, you buy. You drink, you buy. And the phrase is, "You break, you buy." What you're saying is, it's you touch, you buy. You break, you buy. You drink, you break, you buy. Because if I've never seen blind people go into a liquor store, a Korean liquor store, and just start drinking You beer. ain't met my father. Dude. What? You ain't met my father. My real father, that's, <laughs> that's the fuck he used to do. I used to get oh, mad at him. Oh, oh so you used to go to liquor stores just drink in the store? Grocery stores, he used to just grab the apple juice, drink it, put it back on the shelf. And I said, what the fuck? I said, man, dog, dude. dude. Never got caught. <laughs> and then when I asked him, I said, pops, man, you... Why would you do that shit? He said, "Fuck him, I'm thirsty." I said, "That ain't you still got to pay for this." He's like, "Yeah, fuck it, I ain't paying for really? this shit." Really? And then they never did you never did you ever no. like just if he was going down one aisle, you just went to another aisle because you didn't want to be caught. I with. used to just like, I used to just like fake, yeah, just like that. I used to fake like I got something to do. Like pops, I'm gonna go over here and look at something, and he'd be like, "All right," and then he'd come over there drinking a the goddamn juice too, and then he put it back. I said, "Man, fuck, don't bring the evidence over." He was just fucking. Just, he goes to the magazine section, you know, the colognes and stuff mm -hmm. that's in the magazine. He just <laughs> his body. I used to do that though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 that's real talk. Butcher box. Can I say something right now? Last night I made spaghetti, I love but I wanted some spaghetti. ground beef. Oh yeah, but I'm cool because I have butcher box. Mm -hmm. It's in the downstairs. Uh, downstairs, I have a specific freezer for, for this box. meat. It's the best meat in the market, right? I had a delicious meat. Sauce spaghetti last night. Mm. Meal prepping is difficult. Butcher Box makes it easy, my friends. Yep. Butcher Box is a subscription service that takes the guesswork out of finding high quality meat. Butcher Box sources their meat from partners with the highest standards for quality. No more searching the grocery store for 100% grass fed meat, beef, free range organic chicken, wild caught seafood, and more. Their sourcing decisions are made holistically, keeping the farmer, the planet, the animal, and your family in mind. No antibiotics or hormones. Each box contains 8 to 14 pounds of meat. That's so much, depending on the box you choose. That's enough for 24 individual meals. They're packed fresh and shipped frozen for your convenience. I got to tell you, my favorite, they have the pork chops. Mm. My favorite, you know, Papa loves a pork chop. Yeah. Um, I like it. Uh, that'll I, I, that'll I, do, I, pig. I say that when I cook it. That'll do, pig, yeah. as I flip it over. They have like ch like little nugget chicken chunk, chunk oh, right? Chick and I have an air fryer, and I make nuggets at home mm. with butcher box meat. Chick nugs. This is your chance <laughs> to never have to shop for ground beef again. That's right. Butcher Box is giving new members free ground beef for life, plus a $10 off coupon. Sign up at butcherbox.com slash badfriends to get two pounds of ground beef for free in every order for the life of your membership, plus a $10 off coupon. Log on to butcherbox.com slash badfriends and claim this deal. BetterHelp. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. Andrew, mm -hmm. relationship take work, buddy. Tell me about it. A lot of us will drop anything to go help someone we care about. We'll go out of our way to treat other people well, but often do we give ourselves the same treatment, Doc? I don't think you do. No. This month, BetterHelp Online Therapy wants to remind you to take care of your most important relationship, the one that you have with yourself, Doc. That's huge. Yeah. You know, whether it's hitting the gym, make time for your haircut, try and therapy, you're your greatest asset. Let me say this. Both Bob and I are big advocates for huge. Uh, for therapy. Any sort of mental health help that you can get, uh, if this is for you, that's great too. Um, we recommend it because uh, it's online therapy that offers video and phone, even live chat sessions. But you don't have to be on video if you don't want to, if it makes you uncomfortable. 
It's more affordable than in-person therapy. You're going to be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Give it a try. See why 2 million people have tried BetterHelp online therapy. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp and Bad Friend listeners. Get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash Bad Friends. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash Bad Friends. Yeah. No, it's not a guy <laughs> That's how you do That's how you talk to people, though. You have no, like... What are you talking about? You don't see how I talk to people. You don't exist in my world. It's stuff like that hurts. <laughs> you just no, say things hurt. to hurt people. You don't exist. Hurts again. Ow. Owie, owie. You don't see how I talk to people. I'm extremely polite and sweet to people. Yeah, it's a, it's a. He can vouch for that. It's a mask. Okay. There's two sides to him, right? Yeah. What's underneath? Hello. How are you? What a great restaurant. Mm, isn't this a, a delight or whatever? That's you. Is that what I sound like at a restaurant? Social, to, to me, you do. <laughs> That's what all white people sound like. <laughs> but um, but when you're when you know you and you're just having a conversation, uh huh. There's a lot of like, just listen to me, man. I know what this is. This is what it is. Look at this. I can't believe yeah. excessive pampering or criticism from parents or a genetic predisposition. Fuck if that isn't Bobby Lee. Mm -hmm. That's you Fuck too, if man. that isn't you know, look at Carlos. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If Your that is biological isn't you, dad? Never have I I've you. never been pampered ever. It was the opposite. Criticism from parents or a genetic predisposition. That's you in spades. That's like you to the fucking wait, wait. criticism from parents or a genetic predisposition. Dis predisposition. A genetic predisposition. Right. So I don't think I have a genetic predisposition. Yeah, you do. But you you I was these. born that way. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Gods are born. See? Are born. Kid thinks he's a god. No, I don't. I Maybe. Well, is the guy complex part of a uh, Napoleon complex too? Being little, you might have a little. You know, that was also that you know was also I mean? that was also fake. Napoleon was average height for his size for his time period. Yeah, that should maybe yeah, kind yeah. of bad. And he it's was not the <laughs> Sorry, it's not the same thing. It is the same. It's 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 relative to each other, I think. He's just saying you've got a complex. Nato Napoleon no, I, complex is because he's small. He wasn't small. He was average size. I'm just saying time. what the actual meaning means. He was five six. That's like your height. No, five four. <laughs> they should call it Bobby complex. <laughs> Five five. <laughs> Napoleon was taller than you. <laughs> Look at that photo. You taller than man. <laughs> yeah, he was. Yeah, that's good. How tall does it say I am? Six one. Papa. Yeah, that's a fact right there. American. See, you better believe it, boy. <laughs> See, I think white. Who the fuck put those? I together? think white people in general have a god complex. Yeah, I think deep in down America, inside, I, I think a lot of so white people deep shit. down, deep down inside. And will you agree with me? A lot of white people, I'm not saying all, but a lot of white people deep down inside think that they're better. Yeah. Do you think, think that? Think. They know that they're better. That's right. Right. So, what, what, <laughs> do, do you, you feel think, that? Well, you know what I think too, though? I Go also ahead, think. Doc. I'd love more... to hear your insights. <laughs> <laughs> that, that sounded a little. No. Okay, Go ahead. I, I'm really <laughs> serious. No, he but wants what I'm to do saying is, I think, tactic. like, if you're the dominant species within your or dominant race within that particular country, mm -hmm. that, that particular race is going to have a God complex. Like over in Africa, Africans are have a god complex. Oh, Russians have a god complex. Korea, Mexicans, Koreans, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like if we, if he go to Mexico, they don't give a fuck about this guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like they do think I'm Canelo when they I. They love Mexicans. <laughs> love Mexicans love the show Mixology. They yeah, just they do. They, they were just big love fans. It. Yeah, yeah. Big yeah, but fans. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> and, like after a while, they gonna tell him, "You better learn Spanish." He can't just go over there just talking English and tell everybody, "You gotta learn English." Now you sound like That's a white Republican here in America. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You come over here, you better learn English, boy. But that would be anywhere. It's just I thought you died, Herman Cain. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Yeah, that was yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm did. alive and well. Yeah. <laughs> It was, Every, funny. It, was, I, it was funny when Herman died. He was still tweeting afterwards. You remember that? Yeah, when he when he was dead, he would tweet. There was tweets coming out. Yeah, yeah. Po posthumous <laughs> tweets from Herman Cain. What did he die of? It was COVID, right? COVID, yeah. COVID. Isn't that fucking crazy? What? He's like, he's like, dude. He went to that Tulsa Trump rally, and no, this is in the height of COVID. I know, but not dude, a single person with a mask in that thing. But but uh, just in case you thought Biden's candidacy was going to be anything other than completely nuts, Team Trump has released a new video. And David Allen Greer goes, uh, aren't you dead? <laughs> <laughs> That's classic. <laughs> By the way, how boss is that that Herman Cain can Fucking tweet hilarious. from the grave? Mm. The Cain Gang. That's a great name, the Cain Gang. So we, like, I believe that, um, are you right? I, maybe, maybe you're right. But, can I, but some societies like Koreans, I mean, they might have a God complex, but they don't have a history of oppression, oppressing another group of people. Each other, right? Are you fucking out of your yeah. mind? What the fuck? You, what do you, mean? you don't think Asians had fucking, they didn't oppress? Koreans, Koreans didn't have slaves. We didn't fly. Did Koreans fly. have slaves? Yeah, Google that. I'm yeah, because I think that's fucking wrong. 
Somebody built them pyramids. It wasn't just somebody like, you know, we're going to go. Yeah, Korea had the longest we unbroken chain. We were Korea kidding about the Korea. Korea had the Korean. longest <laughs> unbroken chain of slavery of any society <laughs> in history spanning 1,500 years. Fuck off. <laughs> That's not what it says. <laughs> Zoom it in. My eyes are blurry. Go Zoom back. It in. Carlos. Go back. I want to read it. All right? Read it out loud, you I wanna, s- uh, piece right, of shit. It. Get close. All right. Korea had the longest <laughs> unbroken chain of slavery. Of any society in history. (laughs) 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 Fuck! Holy shit! You guys are fucking scumbags. We're scumbags. We're fuckos. Dude, that's insane. Insane. Super insane. But who? Who did we enslave? Find out. Yeah, who did we enslave? Well, a caste system, first of all, you fucking enslaved your own fucking people. The Nobi. But that doesn't count. Yes, it does. That's how does that count? That's even more repulsive. Your own brother? If I have kids and I have a sweatshop, you know, turn the machines on. <laughs> Let's make some Nikes. I mean, come on. It's fucking gross. It and is. It's nice. It's, it's weird But I think that's disgusting. the way we approach it. We try yeah, to you make have some to. fun of this bullshit. It's I love you, so Doc. I really, it, honestly, your perspective, uh, your perspective on comedy and trying fucked up jokes is probably the reason why I think we get along so well. Oh, yeah. Because you, you sling it. You might as well oh, throw it. Bro. Yeah, you know, honestly, dude, and this is my honest truth. Here's what I've always loved about you is I always, I always thought you were funny. Uh, I've always encouraged you, right? That's true. Is that true or not? 100%. 100%. Yeah. I always, I think you're hilarious. And I always thought you were magical. But here's the thing. You could take it. You know, man, there's this weird thing about comedy where people think you're not supposed to be vulnerable in comedy. But then they watch the Golden Girls and then they watch Martin. They see Cole or Rose and they they laugh hysterically. It's like, yeah, I'm like the Rose and Cole sometimes. I, I can take it. I get you throw it out. I'm sitting back and then I could be the guy to give it. It's just like one of those things. So I don't I don't trip on it. You know what I'm saying? I, I love that statement. Yeah, it's good. That's pretty powerful. Very yeah. powerful. But it is true. <clears throat> also, we get so vo- sometimes on this show, like we're fucking around so much, we're joking around. But then when we do get serious, it is there are moments when we have to let it sit and be real and then joke about it afterwards. But but comics are always expected to like, you know, constantly pump out comedy and jokes and jokes and jokes. But we have our vulnerable moments. Bobby showed a lot of vulnerability. When you were when, when you went away, your phone calls were super vulnerable to me. <sighs> yeah. It was heavy. Really heavy. But I mean I'm glad I'm glad we have to have that thing too. That has to exist. Because it's gotta be real love beyond all the comedy. Well when you when you look back at my you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah Doc. Because when I was growing up in comedy in the 90s, just the people above me. 80s. 80s? I mean, oh, fuck up. <laughs> the 80s. <laughs> the people above me were so mean. It was the same for me when I started. I know. But I think we're nicer to the young people. Oh, my God. I love. Ten times But nicer. I love. But I think the difference is, and I'll be honest. Yeah. The younger people now in comedy, mm. I think are funnier at a younger age than we were my god there's some young kids like trevor wallace one time yeah, i didn't, had no idea him. who he was and i i followed him at the improv and i would look down oh, this white guy got this i didn't watch a set this white guy i got this yeah. <laughs> you're a fucking in my head yeah in my head i didn't all say right. it out loud all right and i struggled you did yeah because i didn't take it seriously and i walked up and he crushed you could hear it yeah and then when i was on stage i was just like oh yeah, this guy's good. You know who kills? You know who I really like? Because we've talked, you've talked about Trevor on the show before. But I, uh, but I want to give. A, uh, I like Matt Lockwood. Do you know who that is? Oh, Matt Lockwood. Love him. Yeah, yeah he crushes. Yeah, he got, that dude he's fucking, funny on the podcast. I, I think he's so yeah. fucking funny. Right. But he's part. Of, I don't know age wise how old he is, but he's part of. I mean, the younger group of guys. Oh, even before Trevor, you think? He's the about the same age. I don't know how old they are. I don't, I don't yeah, know yeah, how old yeah. any of these fucking guys yeah. are. But I mean, or when I first saw Taylor Tomlinson, I'm like, oh yeah. Her special just permit just came out. Yeah, I mean, just amazing. Trevor's twenty nine. He's a young guy. Amazing. Let me ask y'all this. Yeah. Now we, you was talking about how hard people were on you in the nineties or the fifties, or whatever time you grew up. <laughs> so now think about this. <laughs> well, do you think you would have been a, be, been able to handle? Slow the, it down. I'm, I'm trying, yeah. bro. It's not a job interview. Slow it down. <laughs> but do you think you would have been able to handle live, living in New York and being a comic? Because you know how they work. Or are. I think it would have been the same for Bobby. You think so? Yeah, only uh, because only because it, I think New York gets this credit like they're more gritty than us for some reason in the world of comedy. Comedy was just as competitive. It's just I think New York New York peers were a little bit more harsh to each other, more like 
you know, maybe they push each other more. And it, it, that is a joke centric city of like hardcore joke writers, but it doesn't mean the competition wasn't as tough out here. Maybe, you know, I think out here it was more like per, a lot of personality based comedy came out of LA more so than thoroughbred joke writers. I'll give them that. Yeah. But also we've caught up to them at this point. There's plenty of fucking phenomenal joke writers and that coming out of LA and other places, not New York. They just kind of claim that fame. But for Bobby, the competition was insanely thick and also littered with everyone that wasn't him. You know what I mean? It was like... Yeah, because back when I did it, there was like three Asian dudes that I was aware of. If that. If that, right? There was Dat Fan. Yeah, and, he and was... Steve Byrne. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then Ken started doing it, but That later, was later, yeah. A couple years later. So there wasn't... But I, my mom always says, you know, if, if I did not come to America... That's... Yeah. No, that's a pretty good impression. Pretty good. Yeah, you you would have you know you would have carried rice in Korea. Also, as a job, buka and buka. <laughs> so, um, but I, I my argument is, mom, there's comedy there too. I mean, I, I think I would have, no matter what society I, I, I lived in, unless it was like, you know, I was in like in a like a, a, Cambod a Cambodian person that was living in the Pol Pot regime or something. Khmer Rouge. Tough. There's no opportunity there. Sure. But any place that was op there was opportunity, I think I would have been able to survive and done it. Yeah, but you wouldn't be doing stand up. Yeah, but I would have done some form of comedy. And 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 my friend Danny Cho, you know Danny? I don't. I don't think so. So Danny Cho was uh, I used to do this um sketch on Mad TV called um Johnny Gone and Pongo. Oh, I know this guy. Put Johnny Gone and Pongo. Oh yeah. Johnny Gone and Pongo. Gone? <laughs> Johnny Gone, G A N. And Pongo. Just put it in something. Let's just see what happens. There we go. So go to the duo with the, the second one. <laughs> so I used to do a sketch called Johnny Gott. You know what I mean? And he's basically, uh, uh, I have my own talk show in this island of, off of Thailand. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's a makeshift, you know what I mean, talk show. And I used to just, he didn't t say much. I used to slap him in the face. And then if you lift open the shirt, there's a um, underdeveloped, uh, he has a twin. That oh, was right. underdeveloped. On his body. So he would talk. So he was just a Korean guy coming out of his belly. <laughs> 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 and he would talk. So, so after, you know, Mad TV was over, he was doing stand up and he goes, he says to me one day, he goes, There's no stand up in Korea. And I go, Okay. And he goes, um, <laughs> Dude, this is the most racist <laughs> sketch. I did twenty of these, but it's for but it, you were it's about Koreans, no? No, they're Thai and they're it's so stereotypical. It's so fucking backwards. King, there he is. King Lao, Johnny Gone. Yeah. Oh my God, Bob. <laughs> First movie we've seen is Little Miss Sunshine. Let me tell you what it wow. is. I don't know what it is. <laughs> the movie starts and I say. I don't know what's doing this here. This movie sucks. The people in it is these George Clooney's, the Coda fans, Bob. Helen Hunt, Dick Cheney's. So, anyway, so that dude started the stand up scene in yep. Korea. And it's doing well. Yeah. You keep in contact with him? Yeah. And I also have to say that maybe I have a little something to do with it. How? Well, I gave this guy a kid a shot. But you didn't put any effort into him opening shit up in Korea. I went, do it. Yeah. <laughs> that's I gave it. him a wink. <laughs> that's it. But you know what, dude? My encouragement means something. Uh, no? I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what is the I'll tell you what is weird. And I talked about this on my show on, on Whiskey Ginger. There is this weird looming thing about Scientology that like nobody talks about in LA, but it's fucking everywhere. It's everywhere. Scientology? Oh my God! What? They're they're like the third largest property owner in Los Angeles. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They own everything. That oh. means there's thousands of them, but no one talks about who is it. Yeah, I mean, I dated one. You know that, right? I know. We talked to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but I'm just saying, like, it's not a conversation piece, and yet they're fucking everywhere. How, how come nobody wants to talk about it? Well, it was in the movie, the Scientology movie. Would you come become clear? Going clear? Yeah, going clear. What do you about mean? all the real estate that they own? And no, all no, no, but I'm saying you have to be friends with a lot of people that are Scientologists and just not know it. Mm. Yeah, I mean- You before, have to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just by, by by proxy, we're here. That's what weirds me out is I'm like, how come no one tells me about it? Or they don't even bring it up. Yeah. They don't recruit you. 
No, at, you know what's funny? My first fucking audition in LA was for a movie, for a Scientology movie. You know they have their own video production yeah, company? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got an audition off of like Craigslist or some bullshit and it was like, looking for young, you know, eager 20-something-year-old men to be in a whatever, blah, 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 video production. So I went to the Church of Scientology on Franklin. You know the Franklin yeah, one? Yeah, yeah. And I knew nothing about it. I had just moved here. I, I didn't even, I've never even heard of it before. And I went into this little the celebrity center, celebrity center. And yeah. I went into this little audition room and they made me fill out all this paperwork. Dude, it was endless. And in my mind, I was like, fuck auditions are, <laughs> you got to <laughs> sign away your soul for yeah. these things. <laughs> and then at the end of it, I realized, oh, this is a church, huh? It's a church thing. <laughs> yeah. Like I finally caught fire. There's a gigantic marble head statue yeah. of fucking L. Ron Hubbard in I didn't the know lobby. who that was. Yeah. I was 21 years old. Who do you think that was? <laughs> I, thought it was I thought it was Ron Sir Howard. Lawrence Olivier. I, mean, I thought no. it was Ron Howard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Not I mean, L. Ron Hubbard. I thought it was Ron Howard. I misheard it. Plus, it, there's like... Opie, my hero. Right <laughs> there's all this naval drapery and then they have the can-can machines. I was poor. I needed money. They were going to give Don't me money. Don't get me angry. I'm just asking a question. Now. No, but I'm telling you my answer. I was a dumb, poor 21-year-old who was like, I can't eat this month. I'll take anything. Did and you I, get the part? No, I, w as soon as I found out it was a church, yeah. I immediately jetted because I was like, I don't want to do some religious bullshit that I know nothing about. Yeah, right. that would have been dangerous. I it was think. bad, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, but I seriously, I went in a room. I filled out all this stuff. It was like, do you have a history of... You know, it started off small. It's like, did you ever, do you ever have a history of health conditions, uh, mental illness in your family, cancer? And I was like, why do I need to know all this medical shit? Yeah. And I filled out fucking all of it. So somewhere in the books, they've got a half a Santino audition. Yeah. But there was a time in Hollywood and I wish it where you could even it. say the word. Like we, Mad TV did a sketch. You remember that movie, My Big Fat Greek Wedding? I love. We did a sketch called My Big Fat Scientology Wedding. Mm -hmm. We built the set. We casted it. The lawyers came in. They shut it down because somebody up top and fuck somebody up top at. Uh... But that's how much power they had. So at the time, like even talking about this right now makes me scared. No, they're what the fuck? I know, but at that time though, I'm not saying anything bad. I know, but at that time, you have to understand the kind of power they had in Hollywood. Yeah, because remember they sued the IRS, like ten thousand, thousands of people sued the IRS, the Scientologists, huh. and then they gave them um, religious immunity. What is it? Tax the IRS. Yeah, tax. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, some of the biggest stars are Scientologists, right? Name me some. Will Smith. Will Smith. Uh, Tom, Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. Cruise. Will Smith? Yeah, Will yeah. Smith, Kirstie Alley, Tom Cruise. Uh, what does that say? Nancy John Cartwright. Travolta. Nancy Cartwright, who voices Bart. Travolta. Ta Travolta was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's not on there anymore, though. No. But anyway. Giovanni Ribisi. Mm -hmm. Is he? Yeah. Wow. Because I, um, the girl that I dated. Um, I do want to see okay. Zenu. I'm not going to lie. I do want to see him too. Well, that's why they but they get you. They get you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get a little bit of money in your pocket. They're like, dude, a hundred grand. You can meet Zeno. You're like, what is he like? <laughs> dude, it's funny because that's like you have to pay the hundreds of thousand dollars of classes to get to even that level, and yeah. years and years. And then imagine you work all this time, mm -hmm. twenty years. Mm -hmm. You finally get to the ninth level, whatever it is. <laughs> they give you a briefcase, and then there's like writings of you know, like handwritten letters and stuff by L. Ron Hubbard. But then they tell you about Zenu. Then, yeah, it, I, I can only imagine what you would you 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 would have done. <laughs> you would have been imagine you they, would have they, snapped. They hand me the briefcase <laughs> yeah, and yeah. they walk out of the room yeah. and then they come back. I'm just jerking off in the briefcase. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like this is all I've ever wanted. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I bu dude, I buy into none of this stuff. I think it's all gobbledygook. But I do want to say, um, as their defense, no, I don't care. I, I want to defend them. I have nothing against the people. I don't give a shit. I don't they're, buy they're, it. You know how, like, sometimes when you you talk to people, like comics especially, and they never really tell you how they feel or what's going on, or even like fake shit, like you know, great set when they haven't even seen your set or oh, whatever. I hate that. Yeah, I hate that. But Scientologists are very like clear. And so when I did date one, I knew exactly what was going on, how she felt. You know what I mean? She was just honest. Maybe You're that just... was a character trait and not Scientology. No, it was that because her <laughs> mom was like that. Her people around her were like that. They're just very like clear. Did and... she ever try to recruit you to the church? Yeah. Did you ever think about it? I went there and I did the machine. If the pussy was good enough, you'd be a Scientologist today. <laughs> That's the truth. <laughs> If the trap was good, you'd be yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. there. She's a beautiful girl. And Pussy has made some guys do fucking all oh, sorts yeah. of tricks. Yeah, if she was like a 10, right? I think I would be like, I'd, I'd have scales on my face. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have Xenu scales, right? I'd, I'd have the implants. I think I would look like him. 
<laughs> yeah, I'd wear the blue suit. I would scrub. You'd go to what is it called? What's the one in Florida? Uh, the one in Tampa? What is it called? They're uh, yeah, Sea Org. Sea Org. Yeah, I'd probably have a different language. Like say hi to me. Meow. <laughs> Bobby, what the fuck? What is that? In the middle of a set on stage. Yeah. <laughs> right. You're like, yeah, my my friend and I were traveling. Meow. Get that toss. You're like, oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, that got, yeah. there they are right now, lined up yeah. like captain. That was, the, I think, the biggest bother to me was that they they mock the military. That's like mock military. They have nothing to do with the military. Yeah. This what? is stolen valor, isn't it? How come they can't clap them for this? Because it's religion. But it's but it's but they're mocking them. Whoa! Um, I don't like the way you fucking said that. We a, know it's a religion. But I was saying have, it confidently. But you're, you have a stake in the claim, or what? <laughs> no, definitely not. Uh, no, this no, no. But I mean, like, but truly. This is military garb in a religious form. Is to me, it's a very odd. There's it's no so military odd. ties. That guy don't look like he can protect anybody. <laughs> <laughs> That's a girl, oh, by the way. Oh, it is. Hey, you don't know. You, you don't know, know that person's gender. <laughs> oh no, my bad. My that bad. they could be whatever that they want. Yeah, but they get paid like what, like fifteen cents a day. I mean, just crazy. I don't know. If they pay them. I think they donate their time when they go to that Sea Org thing. But what? then, if you snake your way through the thing, then you get then you get like capital gains from other like. You know, from other members, and then you start to move up, and then you start making money. Do you know where you see them at the Gelsons on Franklin? <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> yeah. So you see, it's the Sea Org people. They're at the Gelsons. So like Gelson closes at midnight, and they're there. At so if you're 11, like eleven, 59. <laughs> if you're there at eleven, you see them. With what are the they suits? Are they snacking on. You know what I mean? And I yeah. <laughs> And I always go, ahoy, or what, you know, you don't know what to say. You don't know what to say. So I go, ahoy, you know what I mean? And I always let them, like, coming cut, up on your starboard, heads up. I always let them cut in line. <laughs> oh, because you think. No, yeah. I just feel like, yeah, uh, go ahead. You know, I don't want my career to be all ruined. No, you know what it is? You yeah. do that because just in case they have the key to the thing. What thing? The life, the mystery of the universe. You think so? Like if say the world ends, and, yeah. some, and, and all these Scientologists are like, you fools, you didn't listen to us, and then they point at Bobby, they're like. He's okay. He's with us. Yeah. He let me pass at Gelson's. And then maybe you you get lifted up <laughs> in the spaceship with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And they look but at Doc I, I, and they I, go, Doc as well. Yeah. And they look at me and they're like, fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> I think the reason why is because I am a huge Tom Cruise fan. Yeah. I like him. Who's I not think... a Tom Cruise fan? Let's move something fun. Bob, Carlos wants me to go to the can real fast. He says he's got some hot ones in here. All right. No. <laughs> Let me try one. What if Andrew was tragically killed in an elephant trampling? What if elephants trampled me to death? Do you know what's so insane about this? I was watching Naked and Afraid the other night, and they there were elephants going by their camp, mm. and the South African guy was like, you know, they'll barrel right over the bush. They'll fuck you up right over the bush. They'll push it down. And I thought, how the fuck... Would you get away from an elephant in the middle? You're de it's you're fucked. Yeah, dude. If you got trampled by elephants, please don't do that. Because you know what I'd turn into? <laughs> Moby Dick. <laughs> I would hunt down every elephant. Would you really for me? Of, out of rage. Are you serious? Oh yeah. But then would you be but able I to would tell people keep about the it? One, the one that trampled you, I'd keep him alive. <laughs> <laughs> I would keep him alive. Yeah. Right. And I would have um You'd feed him. Yeah, feed him like wash him. Nobu. You I don't give know, an elephant I don't Nobu? Know, I don't know if elephants love <laughs> high-grade oh, high like sushi, but you want to go to Nobu, and they would have to... Well, because of COVID, maybe they have an outdoor area. <laughs> they got to have outdoor seating. Yeah. Bobby? Is elephant? that a horse? Or, uh, yeah, he's a, he's yeah. a horse elephant. Yeah, yeah. Well, how does an <laughs> elephant sound? <laughs> right? <laughs> he's going, you know, hamachi! Yes. Yeah. He loves hamachi. He's like, new style sashimi! Right, so if that happened, I would hunt... All of them down, kill them, and keep the one that trampled you alive. I love you. Thank you, man. But then you'd secretly kill that guy later in life. You'd keep him around, and then you'd, kill, you'd slowly kill him. Oh, I would, yeah, slowly, like, um, peel his skin. Dude, they did. They they dismantle and stamp. Oh, my God, stamp. They, sta they kill people constantly. How many people get killed by elephants a year? Uh, no, seriously, this is like a real thing, how often they do. They're aggressive as fuck. Have yeah. you ever seen an elephant in real life? No. Holy I, fuck. I mean, in zoo, but not like... How human deaths, what is that? 100 to 500. 500 a year. 500 fucking people are dying at a, the hands of an elephant. That's insane. Fuck How is that happening repeatedly like that? That's Dude, crazy. because people that live in, look, elephants have been known to raid hey, villages in, in South Asia. Hey, Bobby. So, so it's a lot of Asians getting killed by. Uh... <laughs> you fucking. You slow down. Fu slow, hold on. Slow hold on. Hold on. We you gotta figure this fucking out. Rat hey, fucker. hey, hey, fucking hey, fucking hey, hey, this is a teachable moment. I don't give a shit. Man. <laughs> I'm just asking. Right. So let me ask you something. You, you, to you his talk, point. You talk to any fucking kid. Hey. Oh, sorry, my tone. Dick, come on. You, you talk to help. any fucking kid. Where do elephants live? <laughs> do they say fucking 
uh, Hong Kong? Yeah. Or do they see fucking Africa, bro? Africa. Exactly. Okay. I, I bet you more black people get trampled. Oh, Africa. boy. Uh, let's, you want to do a race war? Oh, boy. I'll yeah, do a race war. Going, right? I bet you we don't. Why? Because you're, why? <laughs> because you're about we, to say something racist. Why? I'm about, ain't about to say nothing racist. No, just say why and we'll cut it out. Because why? black people are like the Tarzan of, of, of you know what I'm saying? We, we communicate with they go with, with their fucking physical, <laughs> their physical eliteness. Uh, well, he's well yeah, yeah. facts are facts. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Who's going to outrun an elephant? An Asian guy or a black guy? Honestly. Or, or Hussein Bolt. <laughs> Who's your money on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hussein Bolt or what's the figure skater's name from Korea? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nathan Chen. He's, Is Nathan he's, Chen no, versus American. Hussein Bolt? Who's going to win? But if Na it was on ice? <laughs> Think about on, if it was on ice elephants on ice yeah. oh yeah, yeah. Elephants, elephants on ice, on ice. they You're can't right. skate what a good play yeah, that yeah. was anyway i gotta tell you something. i gotta tell you something yeah. google this right now because i want to see to prove maybe doc's point where are the majority of elephant deaths where do they take place the hot the, where's the highest amount of elephant deaths i would say okay you're saying china asia i'm saying africa the majority of oh, humans. elephant uh, humans getting killed by elephants you're saying what africa yeah and what are you saying doc asia no it's it's actually India. Three hundred people may be killed. Yeah, so it Asia. is Asia. Yeah, Asia was right. It said whoa, 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 whoa. It, it said South Asia in the clip. So three hundred people may be killed annually. Killings, it's always like an Indian dude fucking around. Yeah, it's one hundred percent. Oh, really? Right. Now it's an Indian dude. Well, well, before you, know, you didn't even know. Give me the fucking right, questions. right next door, right next door. Well, <laughs> India is in Asia. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, it's in Asia. Yeah, Close. Bobby doesn't want like that though. You don't accept <laughs> no, Indians as Asian. Accept. They're South Asians. They are. But the, but also like to be fair, I, when I was in Tokyo in Japan, I saw elephants everywhere. In they, Japan, all over the streets. In Japan, roaming the streets of Tokyo. <laughs> okay, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what if Bobby was at Tiananmen Square? <laughs> when? That During is a Indian really incident. good one. You Who mean, wrote what, that? Was that you, Pete? You mean when I, the guy that chewed gum and he threw it and then he was in prison? Is that TNM and Scare where? Yeah. Is that <laughs> what that is? The guy it's with the tank. Guy. Dude, it's the tank. You've never seen the image, this this iconic image. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That, that. They're saying you standing in front of a tank. What would you have done if you were him? I would not. You be. know what? That tank could have kept rolling over Bobby and not <laughs> not killed him at all. It could have just kept going. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> it wouldn't even have touched yeah. him. It would have just gone over his head and he's like, oh, hey! Yeah. Well, um, you would have never, dude, what? never stopped in front. You would have never gone in front of a tank. You don't have that kind. It of depends shit. on what the why he's doing it. Those tanks were going to kill your mom. Yeah, I would. Those tanks are going to kill your brother. Yeah, big pause. <laughs> I would know. I had to think about it, yeah. Those tanks are going to kill George. <laughs> <laughs> Say it. Nobody can hear you. No. Okay. Those tanks are going to kill Fancy. No. No. Those tanks are going to kill Pete and Carlos together combined. It's a twofer. Ooh, nope. <laughs> those pizza are going to kill Doc. Yeah. Really? You'd stand in front of it. Those tanks are coming to kill no, me. No, no, no. No, that's enough. <laughs> You're right. Those tanks are going to kill me. 100%. I fucking love you. You wouldn't. But it's it? only because of money. Oh, I get that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, who that. am I going to pod with? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like half my income is your life. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, yeah. That makes so, sense. Don't get trampled by elephants. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> what if Bob, me, Doc, Let's do Carlos and Pete and George had to negotiate their order line in a human centipede. Okay. <laughs> I'm up front. I, no, no, I have to be up front. No. I have to be up no, front. No, you're in the back. I'll tell you why. You're last. He's last. Why would I be last? Because you don't know what we're talking about. So well, well you do have the short. <laughs> that you is do, true. You don't know what any of it like, means, so just be last. Okay. You know what it's human centipede position. is? You never saw it? No. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, first of all, you'd be at the end. The reason, that's us. The reason you'd be at the end. Oh, like the elephant walk. No, no, no. In the no. movie, this is a real movie. Um, these tours get captured by some. <laughs> sorry to explain. Like, imagine this a pitch to a fucking studio. So this is actually what. what yeah, happened. I'm a studio executive. Yeah. So, um, dude, we're so excited to read this script, thank, and, I, and you wouldn't let us read you. it. But can we just hear what it is? I'd love to tell you. Okay, love it. So um, God, we're so excited. We're such big basically um, uh -huh. these American tourists that go to. Okay, this is great. It's great. I love. They this. go to Germany. Oh my god! Yeah, and we can shoot in Germany. We, we are. Oh my god! Yeah. So locations. Location. We location. Location. Lo yeah, yeah. It's everything. And a crazy night out. You know what I mean? Partying. They run into a German surgeon or you know, type that type of guy. I love this. Like they, Chris, Christoph Waltz. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> maybe we get him. Maybe we don't. We okay. Don't okay. Know, that's fine. Yeah. And then yeah. uh, they get captured by him. Ooh. Right. Okay. Tension. Drama. Tension. Drama. Love this. Anyway, they capture two girls. 
right? He captured mm-hmm. two girls and mm-hmm. an Asian guy, a oh, Japanese cool. guy. Great. Another, you know, uh, tourist. Yeah. If Because in Japan, they, they love to, to, to go to different countries. Do too. they ever, those Do guys? They not? And they're just click, click, yeah. click, 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 click. They and love then, it. I anyway, love he's it. a surgeon, so they these three wake up. And so, you know, one, um, it's a human centipede. I'm you sorry. You love animals? I love animals. Yeah, you love uh, David Attenborough? Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, one of my favorites. Yeah, you know, we, favorite. like, all yeah. those, you know. Yeah. The ones about you know that life, you know, and all the animal, you know, life so I on love the animals. hills. Exactly, <laughs> I love, it. I love it, right? Love them. Anyway, so he makes the three a human centipede. So how this works is, you know, I the not I <laughs> crazy. <laughs> I not it's not in it. It's crazy. Oh, like, God. This is a make believe guy. I love this movie already. Anyway, he uh, surgically implants uh, th- their mouths to each other's butthole. <laughs> So you know, um, the guy in the front is has the easiest. I, I'm I'm gonna make him the Asian guy because you know, you know who his poos are uh, small and tiny. You know because uh-huh. he does eat a lot. You know, uh-huh. but anyway, so he poos into the woman's mouth, uh-huh. right? And then she poos into the other woman's mouth, right. and they just kind of they go. Well, the two, you know, what's good about this? <laughs> Not a lot of dialogue for the two girls, right? Yeah, because. You know, you, can't you talk cannot when you talk when you're, your you're surgically implanted into somebody's butthole. Right. Yeah. So, they don't, as an actress, what let a wonder. St- let me stop you right there. <laughs> 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 let me stop you. Yes. Here's a check for eight hundred million dollars. <laughs> exactly. So that's that was an actual movie. So who movie. is the human set? So are the, you fucking kidding? Like you never you never heard of it? Oh. No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's the craziest. Okay. So anyway. In a human human centipede, right? Doc would be at the end, mm-hmm. right? I will tell you why, Doc. Why, why On a me? real centipede, yeah, the, the back has to be the most important, okay? Because your legs have to be the strongest, and yours yeah. are the shortest and strongest to the ground. Because you've got to push all that weight up front. Yeah, imagine like a bunch of people inside you putting coal. You're the, you're the yeah, caboose. You're the caboose. But I want to shit in somebody's mouth too. If I'm going to be getting my mouth shit in, hey, 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 hey. I know. But, if we add somebody, maybe we'll find someone else. <laughs> you got fucking. <laughs> okay. name, name, name. That's, that's what you're right. That you know what, dude. I know your fear, and I know how bummed you'd be. So can you just imagine somebody is? Because you're not gonna really even care. How about this? Yeah. At night. Yeah. At night. Yeah. The first guy, Bobby. Yeah. He has to come all the way around, and you get to poop in his mouth. So it's a big circle. Setup, okay. Right? Yeah. yeah. Right, just yeah. at night during the day. Just though, at night. You can't shit in anybody's mouth. Right. Fuck. So all right. So. You want you and I would have to gamble uh, to his front. Let me tell you something. Yeah. If you take front, yeah, I'm somewhere way down the line. I don't want to be anywhere near. <laughs> I promise you this. It's bad. I promise you this. Uh. Uh-huh. I will change my diet. Doubt it. I, You'll I do that I, just to spite me. No, I won't. If I'm behind you, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure you're. You're just like. I'm not gonna be like. Let's kimchi, go to Taco kimchi, Bell. Kimchi, <laughs> kimchi, Taco Bell. Kimchi, yeah, kimchi, Taco Bell. I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, you will. Let's go. No, I would go. You know, pork belly, pork belly, pork belly. No. I mean, it would just. <laughs> no. I swear to God, I would I would go to you know we would go Hope that little vegetarian restaurant on Ventura right? No, it's even worse. Why? No, you need proteins for it to be more solid. <laughs> you tell all right, you tell me. I'd rather something thick that I can bite no. into. All right, right. So how about this, right? You can't talk, right? So what, what I would do is I'd give you a piece of paper, right, uh-huh. and go. You know, I'll go. What do, what should I have for breakfast? No. I'll be very mindful about it. Coffee. Coffee. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. And I'll just drink coffee. Just so I want to get it over with. Oh, you would get over with? <laughs> well, coffee's going to make it so go So if fast. I'm in the front, you'd be second? Oh, God. Ah, please. Just give me a space. You know what? Yeah. Carlos. He's got a low impact diet. Yeah. I know he doesn't eat a lot of crazy shit. Do you, Carlos? No. Yeah, okay, I'll, good. You know why I also want him? Huh? His smooth head. <laughs> on your asshole? Uh, on my asshole would feel so good. <laughs> that cold, smooth head. All right, so then me, and then after me is Pete. <laughs> Oh, hell no. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hell no. Yeah, Pete. Oh, hell Pete no. Carlos got to be with Pete is. What? Look how big Pete is. That means he's got to be shitting in my mouth. No, no, no. That's, time no, that's a time I eat a lot. Time. George too. is still in between you guys. Oh, George is still. So yeah. George is going to get, the, as usual, George is going to get the brunt of all the shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So big George George's had his hats to Pete. Yeah. And, and then, then and then Doc is attached to George. George, yeah. Which I feel like is a good lineup. <laughs> well, no. well, Because okay. uh, once again, George gets the, the brunt of all the shit, just like this show. Yeah. And he probably won't give Doc any shit because he's too. He just feels bad. Yeah, but what? Because okay. Doc would be like, "Oh yeah, another white man shit in my mouth." You know what I mean? Like, make him feel bad about it. Yeah, but the thing is, is that what you're going to be eating is going to be the closest thing to food. 
Yeah, from, but, from but what he's eating, pure shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. there's nothing remotely food in there. No well, nutrients, it, nothing. Oh, I mean, yeah, because it's a trickle. Down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, we got to think about this whole concept, man. That ain't well. well, let me say this. <laughs> I'm a Scientologist. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> You're all done for, dude. I'm cooking you, bud. It's over. I'm telling everybody about this that you guys talk shit. I was baiting you. You're fucked. You know what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Even if that were to be true, they wouldn't let me in. I they wouldn't. I would not have that enough money. Crazy. You have to have so much money to get in. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you for, for being, being a bad, bad friend. friend. Thank you for being a bad friend. <laughs>